Hi, FHS. This is Mrs. Zink from the Career Center, and I've asked some people to come and talk to you about jobs. You're going to see some familiar faces, and they're going to give you what happened to them when they were your age, how they found a job, and how they kept jobs, and the different kinds of jobs that they had. You're also going to hear from some companies, and these companies are going to tell you what it takes to get a job and keep a job. They have a lot of really good advice, and you'll find that that applies to all companies and all businesses. I'd like to thank Enfield Farms and Timken for participating in this video, and I hope all students are able to find their first jobs. My name is Trish Brown, or Mrs. Brown, Ferndale High School. My first job was at Dairy Queen in Ellensburg, and I got that when I was 15 years old. I probably applied at 10 places and got that job. I don't know why I wasn't qualified for anything. I babysat quite a bit when I was younger. Anyway, I started working the front counter and back then we had to make our own dilly bars, our own best bars. We did everything. We didn't have it shipped into us. And then I became a cook and I kept working there through my first year of college. Uh, I ended up being a manager behind the owner and he treated me very well, gave me regular raises, and it was a great thing to have on an application to stick with a job for four years, but he made it worth my while, and I think I was pretty lucky to ha have that job. It was a lot of fun, met a lot of people. I miss all of you. Take care. Hi, this is Mr. Pringle from Ferndale High School, and I teach physics and chemistry um, in Ferndale. And so I was asked to um, just describe my first job. And so I got my first job when I was 16 years old, the summer of my, uh, my 16th year. And I worked for a neighbor who was building a home. And I worked with a carpenter that he had hired to build the home um, as a general laborer. Uh, my second summer, so the summer of my 17th year, um, I was hired by an actual legitimate construction company. And I took those skills from that first summer and again, I was a general laborer and I worked with a, a framing crew um, that, that built homes. And that was uh, what I did um, for money to purchase a, a car, um, but also to help offset some of the expenses of school and then later, uh, later missionary work. So, thank you. Hi, I'm Jamie Parks, the Director of Operations at Enfield Farms. When we're talking about people and who we wanna bring on board, the first thing we want to think about is, is availability. It's the number one ability in any job, any sport, availability, being able to be at work, be on time, and then hard work, working hard, and then being able to think within your job. If you can come in, figure out what you're doing within your job, and think about ways to make it better, you're going to grow and improve in any company. Here at the farm, we value that greatly. Continuous improvement is a big part of our culture. We look forward to meeting you. Hopefully, you can join us sometime soon. Hi guys, this is Mrs. Jones. I'm here to talk about my first work experience that I had. Um, my very first real job came this summer after I graduated high school, and it was at a drive through coffee stand in my hometown. The coffee stand was um, going to be opening the beginning of summer, and the owner and the manager happened to be parents of a couple of my friends that I'd grown up with and knew for a super long time. So it was really just a matter of me contacting them um, and telling them that I wanted a job for the summer. And like I said, we know each other for a really long time and uh, they were happy with that. And I worked the opening shift and so I worked from about 4.30 in the morning to about noon. Um, half of that I usually worked by myself, so that was kind of nice. Um, I saw a lot of uh, cool people as they would come through for their morning coffee, so that was fun. And I also got a lot of tips, which was always great. Uh, so that's my first work experience. Thank you. Hi guys, Miss Kay here. I just wanted to share my first job experience with you all. I worked at a tanning salon when I was 15 years old, 15 to 16. I worked at Sun Spa Tanning Salon in Lake Stevens, Washington. And look at me now. Hi. My name is Patty Sullivan and I got my first job at International House of Pancakes. I think I was 15 and a half. Um, I went in and asked to fill out an application and they hired me right away. I worked Saturday and Sunday. I think we made a dollar 80 an hour, but the rest of the money we made in tips. And I think I was taking home like $100 a weekend. And 
that was a lot of money. It was good for me. I enjoyed it. I was good at it and I got to eat a lot of chocolate chip pancakes. Yep. I liked waiting tables. Always, always have. Hello Ferndale High School students. My name is Edie Hill and I'm the Human Resources Manager with Timken. We are a manufacturer of bearings and housed units here in Ferndale. Uh, normally we love to have high school students come on site and tour our facility and learn more about us. Um, unfortunately with the current pandemic situation uh, we have to connect virtually um, but I'm happy for this opportunity um, to share a little bit more about um, the type of candidates that we look for uh, when we're hiring. Um, so one thing that we look for um, in a successful candidate is um, a good work ethic, um, someone who can show that they're reliable, um, someone who can show that uh, maybe they have some mechanical aptitude. Uh, we are a manufacturer, um, so we do look for um, some of those skills or just even having an aptitude for those skills. So if you've worked on cars, worked in a shop, that's great. Um, but if you've never done that before, we can still find um, out if you have the aptitude for that. Uh, maybe you've taken a class in high school um, through the tech center that was interesting to you and you were um, had an interest in um, something mechanical or technical. Um, for um, a successful employee, once we hire them, uh, we definitely look for someone who um, can work well on a team. Uh, we have an assembly line here, we have a machine shop, and we have a shipping warehouse component to our operations, and all of that requires uh, good teamwork, um, good uh, work ethic, and uh, definitely reliability. So knowing that someone's going to show up uh, on time for their shift um, every day that they can is really important to us. Um, so Again, we would love to have you on site. Unfortunately, uh, we can't right now, but hopefully um, in the future, uh, you get an opportunity to come visit Timken. Um, we'd love to have you. Uh, thank you and stay safe. Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mench. Um, I wanna tell you about the first job that I had. So when I graduated high school, and I told Mr. Vincent this, he asked me what did I wanna do when I got out of high school. I just said, I wanted to be outside. So I'd done a lot of backpacking. I loved being in the outdoors. Um, so when I got out of high school, I um, had heard about being a wilderness ranger in the Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest. So that the Forest Service is based out of, um, down in Cedro Woolley, but there's a base up in Glacier as well. Um, so I had heard that I could go hiking, backpacking every weekend, um, and that it was a job for me. Um, so I had a teacher in high school that had done this job before, um, and so I, that's how I knew about it. Um, I was 18, and when I interviewed for the job, um, I had lots of experience in the outdoors, but I didn't look particularly great. I had dreadlocks that went down on my shoulders that were not particularly good looking, um, but I still got hired, I think, because I had a good connection with the teacher, because I had lots of outdoor experience, and because I was able to be personable and try to present myself nicely despite the fact that I look a little odd. Anyway, um, so I interviewed for it um, and that was probably in the winter time and then I showed, when I, by the time I showed up for my job I had shaved my head. I don't think my employer actually even recognized me until I said, hey, I'm North Mensch, I'm the new wilderness ranger. Um, so I got some training on the job um, and I got to go out um, Monday through Friday, through, uh, sorry, Friday through Monday, hiking on the trails in the North Cascades. Um, and I wore a uniform. Um, I wasn't able to give anybody tickets. I was actually a volunteer, um, but they gave me a uniform, they gave me a place to live, and they gave me a living stipend. Um, so that's how I spent my first summer, um, working at that job. It was really, really fun. I was working with college students that were a lot older than me. Um, and, um, and the Forest Service was a great place to start. I have a lot of friends um, out of high school that worked um, doing fire stuff and trail stuff with the Forest Service. They employ lots of people, um, and it's a fun community of, of folks to get started with. Um, and from that job, I continued to work in the outdoors for, um, for quite a while. Um, so I really enjoyed that. And that's the story of my first job. Thanks. Hi, my name is Lisa Acevedo and I'm a teacher at Ferndale High School. My first job that wasn't just babysitting was at a movie theater in Seattle where I grew up. 
I was a um, ticket taker and a ticket seller in the ticket booth. It was actually a booth that sat out into the sidewalk where I had windows on three sides of me. It was an excellent experience. I had a lot of fun and by being kind of out and visible on the sidewalk like that, I got to know a lot of people in the neighborhood and especially the business owners in the neighborhood. And so what led to other jobs when they had jobs opening up and I was able to move up and get jobs that paid more and help myself um, pay for college. Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Rainwater from Ferndale High School. I just wanted to share with you my experience getting my first job. I was 15 years old, so I was a sophomore in high school in Appleton, Wisconsin. And the way I got my first job was the way that most of my friends got their jobs. Uh, we went to the mall and I asked every single store for an application. I think I walked out of there with probably like 10 or 11 applications, went home, filled them all out, came back to the mall the next day to turn them in. And at American Eagle, the manager just happened to be working that day. And so as soon as I turned the application, she gave me an interview and hired me on the spot. So when you work in a small retail store like that, you kind of do everything. So I worked on the floor, of course, you know, stocking inventory, creating displays, folding t-shirts on the dreaded t-shirt table, unlocking uh, fitting rooms for customers. Plus, of course, I was a walking billboard. I had to wear American Eagle head to toe and I ran the cash register. I worked there for about a year. And then from there, I moved into other retail jobs until I got into college. But it was a great first job and I, and I loved working for American Eagle. Hi, my name is Edwin Ellison, Career and Technical Education Director at Ferndale High School. When I got my first job, I was only eight years old. My dad was a local veterinarian, and so he knew all the dairy farmers, and next door we had a dairy farm. So I had to go over there and uh, feed calves in the morning when I was eight to pay for a bike that I wanted. When I was younger, seven, um, I got in a wreck and destroyed the bike, and so he wanted me to be a part of making the money to earn that bike back again. Um, he always told me he would never deny me the opportunity to make my own way in life. I, and I hope your parents also do the same. Um, how did I find that job? He found it for me. I mean, he knew that I had a need and so he went out and found the job. And what I did is, is I basically fed calves in the morning and afternoon. And so what I would do is I'd put milk replacer in bottles, mix it up, go feed the calves. It took me a half hour to an hour each each feeding and I made I think like a buck a day or buck a feeding or two bucks a feeding and so that was my first job thank you hello my name is Sean Tobin and I'm the director of quality and safety here at wonderful infield farms what we look for in employees is you got to be hard working you got to be driven you got to show up be ready to go uh, what's going to help you keep your job is being accountable and showing up. Show up every day. That's half the battle. Hold yourself accountable um, and have a good attitude. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jones. Um, the first job that I ever really had was once I was old enough to move around and work. I uh, started weeding and mowing yards in the neighborhood and doing all of that. So I'd push my mower around the block and ask people if they wanted their yard mowed and did that for a while. And then um, buck bales and things like that but then my first official job where I had a paycheck and everything I got a job at Dairy Queen um, how I got this job was there's other people at my school who were working there and so I applied and got it and that was the first one with the official paycheck and taxes and everything and um, while I was there I worked the fryers and I would also you know make some blizzards and stuff like that so that's my path for my first job thank you Hi, my name is Mrs. Clary and I'm here to tell you about my first job I had in high school. I was 16 and I worked in a doctor's office, kind of just as a helper. I got the job through family members, uh, which is really helpful to have friends and family you can network with to get that first job. Uh, some of the things I did, I did filing. Um, which I, you know, I would file like lab reports. I don't even think they do that anymore because it's all computerized, but I would also answer phones and check patients in. So probably the most important skill I developed when I had that job was dealing with a wide variety of people. And that has been something that I have really enjoyed in my work life ever since. So I hope this helps you figure out what kind of job you're interested in. Thanks. Hi, my name is Quinn Hale, and I'm a special education teacher here at Ferndale High School. I wanted to tell you about my first job. So when I was 15 years old, I got hired as a landscape helper, and my job duties included mowing lawns, 
pulling weeds, and then also installation of both sprinkler systems and drip systems. So I spent most of my time outside working in the heat and just enjoying my time there. It was hard work, but it was good work. I got paid $3 an hour, and that was my uh, exciting wage at that time. Right now, that might not seem like much, but back then, it seemed like it was a pretty good wage for me, and I was just happy to be able to earn some money and, and put that into savings. Hey there, this is Miss Unger from the math department. Um, my very first job was as a piano teacher. Um, the way I got the job was I was taking piano lessons at the time, and my piano teacher had more um, students than she could manage, so um, and she figured I was advanced enough in my abilities, um, and she asked if I wanted to take over, or not take over, but take on a couple um, new students that she wasn't able to, um, to teach. So um, I was, I think, a sophomore in high school when I started doing that. Um, I had three students maybe um, at the start, um, ended up with a few more, um, and then moved on to college, so I wasn't around for that. Um, but yeah, what I did was I um, communicated with the parents to, to pick a good time, um, and then the student and the parent, um, and the younger siblings sometimes too, um, would come to my house um, once a week, and I would um, help them learn something new. We'd talk about um, hand position on the piano, we'd um, talk about which notes are where, we'd practice counting, getting our rhythm down. Um, playing the melodies that were that um, that were appropriate for the kids. So um, one of my biggest achievements, I guess, is we ended up I ended up hosting a recital even um, maybe the second year um, that I taught, second or third year. Um, so it was neat to be able to have have all the kids show something off to their parents as well. So um, I think that is all the questions. Have a good day.